a nice wind will just blow these away. Yeah. Can we do something like to, you know, hold them in place then, the ones that are there, or is it just... Those look, that looks good. Okay. I don't, I don't know how much... I, you know, I really don't know how much we should try to keep him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If they don't want to, it's their time to come off. I'm surprised this lasted this long. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. I like your idea about taking that down. Yeah. Oh, hi. Or is there another? It's all. There's just the tide. All right. is like these are really loose so we'll have to paint them first right. let it dry and then put the the, the rawhide because it's scarily loose yeah and that'll keep it together because I think what's going to happen is eventually these will come down that'll be a big year for us That's a big year. Yeah. when they get pulled down and we have to talk about what will happen to these posts you know, because right. that's a big, that's a big, that'll be a big thing for me. Yeah, the reuse of them. The reuse, that's, that's huge right now. And, well, we talked about that in my work, right? All of, all of the recycled stuff and what are we doing with this material? Careful! So would you like them to stay here, Nora? I mean, like, I mean, in terms of their reuse? Is it something that you want? Are you, are you thinking? Is it something that stays in DC or? Well, they're from DC. Okay. So I think they should stay in DC, but I don't. I don't. That's just something that we need to talk yeah. about as a group. Yeah. What we're going to do with them? Yeah. They could be used for wood. It'd be nice to turn them into a bench so people could just sit down and enjoy. Like, yeah, the something wonderful That's like that. That would be idea. great. Like, so what I'm doing is I'm um, allowing the cracks to tell me where to start and stop with taking this off. And then from there, I'm going to sand it after I take off uh, a lot of the sort of areas that are going to come off anyway, like that. And uh, from there I'll make... I'll make it easier for the balls that are hidden underneath here to start uh, showing themselves. A lot of uh, designing this pieces originally came from just uh, an intuitive place so that uh, some of it, most of it was planned, uh, but some of the detailed designs were serendipitous. And so I'm following that same idea where uh, the lines and the curves allow themselves to, to shine and I'm just the person who helps them come out um, and I think that way of um, creating for me uh, is really comes from the culture I come from 
where it's more into it than um, pre-designed. I like this line. In New Mexico, you see all of these homes that are um, old, 100, 200 years old, and they have the most beautiful weathering process happening to them because they're adobe. And you can see the lines uh, coming out after hundreds of years being left out to weatherize. And I'm sort of following that same mm, inspiration where the artist or the person working with the piece then becomes part of the process of uh, creating with the environment. And for me, that's really, <laughs> that's very cool. When you look at some of the houses, it's, they're simple and they're very organic, but they're just so incredibly beautiful and well-made. Um, and a lot of them, uh, like in some of the Pueblos, a lot of the older part of the villages have sort of been left to just crumble back into the ground because um, some of the pottery that they used to um, make long time ago, uh, when the pottery was used for uh, utilitarian purposes and it cracked or something happened to it, then they would just put them outside and they were just allowed to to fall back into the earth. And the homes are the same way. But in that process, I think I'm really inspired by, by how that happens, why that happens, how long does it take, and wh what shapes and forms come out of that. I think in that way, I'm um, using cultural information and knowledge and creating uh, with that in a contemporary setting. I, you know, to be perfectly honest, I can't wait for that other bamboo to fall off. <laughs> because then we'll get to paint it, the yeah. poles, right? <laughs> right? Then it'll have a different meaning completely. Because mm -hmm. now we're looking at the last remnants of a time, a yeah, period yeah, of time. But it's still so sharp and uh -huh. but you can't so take. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's telling us it wants another season. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this moon pattern correlates to that moon pattern on the sidewalk. When I initially came to do a site visit for uh, this project, uh, I noticed that almost immediately. And so I remembered that these are clay balls that are made from uh, micaceous and Santa Clara clay uh, from New Mexico. And so I brought them here. A lot of uh, little details have been brought from New Mexico. Um, there's a viga that was cut by my dad like 65 years ago that's planted in um, in uh, one of the pieces and so that it does really become about family and that's why I'm thinking today and telling uh, the conservators that if they're remembering their family or if they're wanting to honor their family that that circle would be a good time to paint uh, for for somebody they know or that has gone on You can start to see how the water drips from the tree where it hits the top of Beyonce or this piece and uh, flows down the pattern that it takes. And you can start to see how this piece will start to erode um, and, and, and reconfigure after a while. And that gives me indication every single time uh, what I have to think about for the next time. So if you have anybody that you 
don't have any more here or you want to remember somebody um, your family somebody some somewhere um, please uh, do that today with the, your circle I think this is why people do ceremony you know because this is like a ceremony right now I mean the world is passing by you know we might get nuked by North Korea but <laughs> You know, there's still there's still this sense of ceremony happening on this little plot. Exactly. And I love that. The lines are real randomly chosen, but they're all fitting together so perfectly. If there's more than one person, go for it. I really like it from this angle. It, it's this one pole just full of these rings of people. It's, it's I'm just, I'm so proud of us. I noticed it from across the street and I was very impressed.